Hey guys, Steve Welch, Beeman Toyota in Nashville. Uh, you know, I always come at you with uh, stuff that you might not know about certain vehicles, um, and today is going to be absolutely no different on that. So, um, what I've got here, I have a Highlander. Uh, the type of vehicle is not as important as what I'm about to show you, though. So, um, a lot of you know what the smart key system is. It's where you have a push button start on the vehicle. All right, so what you'll notice is that on the push button start vehicles you have this feature where you can lock the car just by touching right here and then if you want to unlock the car just put your hand back here and you'll unlock the car but the question that a lot of people have is can i lock my car with it running so now we had some recent weather right and a lot of people were trying to run their car and they might not have had remote start. So they went out to their car, they go to start it, and then they run back inside and it doesn't let you lock it. So what you'll see is if I come in into the car, right? If I hit the lock button, whatever, it'll let me lock it while I'm in here, right? But if I hit the lock button, see everything just unlocks again. So I hit the lock, It'll lock and then unlock. It'll literally do all of the doors by hitting that lock button. It won't let you lock it, all right? So the question that a lot of you guys have had is how can I safely start my car and lock it so that I can walk away, all right? So I'm gonna give you your answer, but I'm also gonna caution you, all right? So you can start your car but if somebody was to break in this way, they would be able to take your car. So if somebody smashed the window and got in, they would be able to take it. So I'm gonna caution you guys with that. But if you're gonna have it running anyway, it's a whole lot better to have it running with the doors locked than it is to just have it running with it unlocked. And that's the whole reason I'm making this video. So I'm going to, like I said, caution you. You should not leave your car running this way realistically unless you know that it's in a safe safe position but uh a lot of times like say you're leaving somebody in the car and you're going inside and maybe you want to leave it running but uh, you want to lock all the doors and you want to do it manually so be it how whatever reason you're going to use this air conditioning heat whatever you can use this but like i said i'm going to caution you because when you remote start the car if you have remote start on any of the toyotas as soon as you open the door it will actually shut the car off so it will not run but i'm going to show you show you a trick here to actually be able to lock the doors but it will not shut off when you open the door again all right so here's here's what the trick is all right close the door right hit your lock button all right, you can see all the doors are locked, right? Um, or at least you heard it, all right? Then you're going to unlock your driver's door and come out, all right? So now that I'm out, you'll be able to see that all the other doors are locked. You've done a beep, all right? You hear that beep. It tells you that this key has now left the vehicle, all right? On the back of this key, you have this little switch right here. All right, and I'm gonna have to kind of pull it back towards me so I can get it. Once you pull that switch back, you get this key. So you can actually come back now and you can put this key into your driver's door. Once you do that, you can actually lock the door. Once you do that, the smart key system is not gonna work on that door, all right? You can't get back into the car, even though I've got this right here, unless you reuse this key. But that being said, like I said, normally, and, and actually here's the other thing, watch. You can do, but normally if you uh, open the car on a remote start, it's gonna shut it off. But watch this, I'm gonna hit the lock button, nothing, right? Hit the unlock button, nothing. I'm hitting it on the, the thing. It does absolutely nothing, right? So come back through, and I'm gonna hit your door here again with this key, and I'm gonna turn it. And now I've unlocked it. And you can see that the door is back unlocked. The car is still running. There's nothing that is different on the car other than that. So if you need to do this, 
like I said, the only reason that I'm showing you this is because if you need to use this, um, like I said, keeping hopefully something safe in the car or something like that, I would much rather have somebody running their car with the doors locked than just going, uh, I'm just going to leave this door unlocked and I'm going to walk away while this thing's running. And that way somebody can just run through real quick, hop in your car and take off. Because once it's running, you can remove the key fob and the car will stay running. It's not going to just shut right off or anything like that. Now, once you shut it off, you wouldn't be able to turn it back on, but uh, you could get the car that way. So like I said, I am so much cautioning you guys on use this sparingly if you need to, but if you need to use this, this is, like I said, I, I think it's better to know this and to have it in your arsenal than to not. So if you need to lock your car while it's running, this is the way to do it. But like I said, just be very, very careful with doing so. So Steve Watch, Beam Toyota, always trying to teach you guys something that you didn't know. Um, I'm pretty sure that this one would hit that. Um, and it's on pretty much most of your push button starts. I, and I believe it's on several of the different manufacturers. So um, let me know if you guys have any other questions, but this is one that I've gotten a lot over uh, the, the bad weather that we had here about how can I go out and start my car to defrost it and lock it so I feel safer about it. Like I said, once it's running, but here, here's the other, I'm going to throw this out is that there's some people that go out with the regular key, start it, and then walk away with all their keys on the inside. You're not really doing anything different other than the fact that you'll still take this key with you. So I guess maybe it's a little safer than that. But like I said, use it sparingly. Use it, I mean, realistically only when you know that it's uh, in a safe, safe way to do so. But beyond there, Hopefully I've helped you guys to know how to do something um, and to be a little bit safer doing it. Um, but it's a whole lot better to do it with the door locked if you're gonna have your car running and you don't have remote start capabilities. So um, definitely check out my video on the remote connect. Um, that'll tell you a little bit how the remote start can work. Uh, a lot of the cars are equipped with it now. So uh, it's a subscription based service through Toyota. So a lot of people are really enjoying that. And uh, it, it's really cheap and it's, it's kind of an insurance policy. Because like I said, it will shut off, shut off the vehicle if somebody was to uh, open the door, break the glass, open the door, whatever it is. If somebody was to open the door, the vehicle shuts off. Um, that could also help you in the case where most people realize that the vehicle will shut off or that you can't drive it if it's a remote start could also help you somebody could think that you remote started it but like i said just realize that it's not 100 percent secure when you do it this way but it's much more secure than just leaving the key inside the car or than leaving it unlocked so hopefully i've helped you guys out hopefully you understand a little bit more about how this system works um like I said, you have that push button start. I've shut it off now. Um, and then you'll see that all of this, that lock work now. Um, and then the, the, the back there, that would work once again. Um, this key system that's on here, it's meant for an emergency key uh, in case your battery was to ever die on the vehicle. So it's, uh, it's meant for that. It pops in right there. So that is what it's designed for but it does allow you to uh, lock and unlock your vehicle uh, that way. So um, now, uh, like I said, don't leave, don't leave that key fob in the vehicle and um, just take that little key with you. Take the whole thing, the whole fob. Because if you leave the main, that main bulk of the key fob in there, then somebody's gonna be able to take it, drive it, do everything that, uh, um, you could do with the car. So definitely take that into account and uh, definitely be very, very safe using it. Like I said, I don't want anybody's car stolen. The only reason I'm showing you this is because there were some people that were really, really worried and wanted to be able to have their car running while locked. Like I said, people have done it for years with the key in the ignition and house keys and everything else hanging off of it. It's really not that much different than doing that, but 
just be cautioned. Like I said, it will not turn off um, if uh, you know somebody opens the door. So um, definitely be safe. Hopefully I've helped you guys out. Hopefully we're coming into summer. We don't have to worry about it too much. But uh, like I said, it's on the Highlander. It's on you know pretty much any of the push button starts. Um, all the push button start vehicles have a tendency to have that spare key um, just because you need a backup system. And I have tried a few of them and they all seem to work the same way. So um, that is definitely a way that you guys can uh, start your car, have it running, get it warm for you um, while you're running inside or whatever you need to do. But uh, like I said, be safe. Steve Watch, me on Toyota, like, subscribe. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, this is based off of several questions that I had. So I do appreciate you guys sending those to me and uh, I will always try to help you guys. Steve Watch, me on Toyota, like, subscribe. Appreciate every one of you guys. Have a good day.